Welcome. Today we're going to practice the procedure for an inoperative crossfeed valve. The crossfeed valve is an electrically controlled butterfly valve that is used to connect each engine to any fuel tank. Normally the valve is closed, but is open to balance the amount of fuel in each tank by using the fuel tank with the most fuel to feed both engines. Normally, the fuel for each engine is taken from the fuel tank on the same side as the engine. This would be the arrangement to use the right fuel tank for the left and right engines. The crossfeed valve is opened and the pumps on the lower tank quantity side are turned off. In this case, the fuel is transferred through the crossfeed valve to feed the left engine. After the fuel tank quantities are balanced, the pumps are switched back on and the crossfeed valve closed. Once the valve selector was closed, the blue light should have become brighter and then extinguished. That didn't happen, so it's not in the commanded position of closed and has remained open. This isn't normal. My aircraft. Crossfeed selector and operative checklist. The pilot monitoring first determines if there is an associated memory item. Then checks the quick reference card, where applicable, then looks in the quick reference handbook, known as the QRH. The procedure can be found in the alphabetical index under C and directs us to page 12.2. As usual there's different ways to find the procedure, here it was also listed in the fuel section of the QRH. The pilot monitoring then reads the procedure title and condition to the pilot flying, seeking agreement it is the correct procedure before continuing. Crossfeed selector and operative checklist. The crossfeed valve open light stays illuminated bright blue if the fuel crossfeed valve is not in the commanded position. Do you agree? I agree. Choose 1. Crossfeed selector is closed. Crossfeed valve is failed open. Maintain fuel balance with selective use of fuel pumps. Or crossfeed selector is open. Crossfeed valve is failed closed. The crossfeed selector is closed. Choosing option 1. Crossfeed valve is failed open. Maintain fuel balance with selective use of fuel pumps. Crossfeed selector and operative checklist complete. Let's take a look at the procedure had the selector been open. The checklist directs us to step 2. If flight conditions allow, vary thrust to maintain fuel balance. If unable to maintain acceptable balance, land at the nearest suitable airport. Crossfeed and operative checklist complete. Notice that certain words are in bold. The step is only taken if flight conditions allow and a landing made at the nearest suitable airport if unable to maintain acceptable balance. We hope you enjoyed this short procedure. Please click like if you found it of interest. And please subscribe to learn of our future videos when you can learn more about the 737. Thank you.